Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia. Now we all know that Mikey produces some great and inexpensive lenses for the E-mount system. Not many of you may know that they also produce battery grips. And so they were gracious enough to send these two to me for review. And these are two battery grips. One is for the A6300 and the other for the A6500. So let's check out what comes in the box. Okay, so here are the boxes that these two groups come in and as you can tell they are almost identical. Picture on the front looks the same for both so we will just look at the one for the A6300 which is the camera that I have. So on the front, battery pack effectively double your shooting time, vertical firing release, significantly improved stability, marvelous touch feeling. Picture of the remote there and the grip itself. Nothing on the side, around the back. Some more pictures of what it looks like. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll open up both of these at the same time, because why not? Might as well. Okay. So you get a little battery adapter. The remote control. Here is the grip. And you get a little cable. Some info, A6500, about the same, remote, the grip, battery adapter, and the cable, yep. Let's see if there's any difference between these two. Nope, remotes are identical. The grips, however, should be different, and they are. So the A6500, for those of you who don't know, has an extended grip that makes it slightly easier to hold. So this battery grip is slightly elongated, whereas the A6300 is a little shorter. Let's go ahead and mount the A6300 grip on an A6300. You want to first remove the battery, and then I'm going to install the little adapter, and then close this door, and all A6300s have that little uh, rubber piece that will come out. So now, battery grip itself, and there's a space for this prong, this three-piece prong to go into. Put that together, lock it in place by screwing the tripod bolt in. So that is what it looks like. It makes the A6300 feel like a much larger camera. But the nice part is, is you can shoot in portrait mode and you have a very nice grip. This rubberized texture is very easy to hold. It's very comfortable and you can obviously switch over to landscape whenever you want. Now, the benefit of this grip is not only that you can shoot landscape mode, but it effectively doubles your battery life because you have two batteries in here. Two Wasabi batteries. You do not want to run out of batteries when you're shooting video with the A6000. Let's put this back in. Clicks in place, locks, and we should be able to turn it on now, and we are. There's an on and an off switch, which I'm assuming is for the shutter button, which is on this side. There's a little place to put a lanyard here if you want to. On this side, you have the battery compartment, a little plug or a port for the cable, and a tripod mount on the bottom. So pretty simple. Uh, let's plug this cable in that I'm holding in my hand. So now that once that is plugged in, I am assuming that this shutter button will work. So we are in portrait mode, and it does. Very cool. So here it is, shutter button. Get another angle of the shutter button. So here is the remote, and it does require two AAA batteries. I tried to read in the manual what this timer was all about, and I couldn't quite get it. But I did find that by using this big button here, I was able to control 
and take pictures remotely. There's obviously more that you could do with this remote that just requires reading through the manual and looking up all of the different features. But I thought that feature alone was pretty cool. So I'm planning on using this grip over the next couple of weeks and I'll see how much I like it. I don't plan on taking too many portrait shots, but if you are a wedding photographer or you do senior pictures, this is definitely an accessory that you should look into because it makes taking portraits, I think, a lot easier. So definitely check that out if you're interested, A6500 or A6300. Uh, both are available as of the date that this video is posted. Uh, the prices on these are about $60 or so, um, which I think is pretty on par with what battery grips are going for. If you guys would like me to compare this grip to any other grip on the market, comment down below and I'll see if I can put together another video comparing two grips in the near future. Thank you guys for all the likes, all the comments, and all the support. As always, have a nice day. Bye-bye.